Can you build muscle on a ketogenic diet? So many people will tell you that it is not possible and that you absolutely need carbs to build muscle. Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down a lot of scholarly articles. I'm gonna give you four major peer-reviewed studies, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a very detailed breakdown with a very specific study that takes a specific look at the keto diet versus a traditional Western carbohydrate-filled diet as it pertains to building muscle. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you turn on notifications so you can see all the videos that I post on this channel every single week. So let's get right down to the science. The first thing that you need to know when it comes down to the ketogenic diet is that you don't need nearly as much protein, first of all, on the ketogenic diet, but you don't need that much protein to build muscle in the first place. So I wanna get that out of the equation first and foremost. You don't need nearly as much protein as you think. The Journal of Applied Physiology actually published a study that found that there was no difference between subjects that consumed 0.64 grams of protein per pound of body weight and those that consumed 1.1 grams of protein per pound of body weight. What this tells us is that you don't need nearly as much protein to trigger muscle growth. What they did find, however, with that study was that protein oxidation increased. What does that mean? That means excess protein was oxidized, meaning there was too much protein than the body could handle. The next thing that we need to talk about here is beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is the main ketone body that is produced while you're in ketosis. A ketone is just an energy source alternative to carbohydrates. Beta-hydroxybutyrate is the main one that I generally reference. Well, in this particular case, it's been found that beta-hydroxybutyrate actually preserves muscle from breaking down. So many people will tell you that you will waste away and lose all your muscle when you're on a ketogenic diet. Not the case at all. Beta-hydroxybutyrate actually slows that process down as long as your calorie needs are in the right place. You have enough calories to make sure you're not dropping too much weight. In fact, the Journal of Clinical Investigation actually published a study. And this one's pretty intriguing. It found that the presence of beta-hydroxybutyrate promoted protein synthesis. It didn't just stop the breakdown of muscle or stop the breakdown of protein. It actually promoted protein synthesis which means that having ketones in your blood encouraged your body to build more muscle. Okay, now this next one I wanna talk about is protein synthesis in the presence of no carbs. It kind of builds off of the last one, but what's interesting is it finds that even when ketone bodies aren't really present, we're still able to create just as much muscle in the absence of carbohydrates as we are in the presence of carbohydrates. This study was also published in the Journal of Applied Physiology. This study took test subjects for a period of six weeks, and they gave them either a high carbohydrate diet or a low carbohydrate diet. Well, what they found is at the end of six weeks of resistance training, both groups had the same level of protein synthesis. Now, one wasn't necessarily a ketogenic diet, it was just low carb. So that proves that even when beta-hydroxybutyrate, the ketone body, is not present, we are still able to produce just as much muscle without the presence of carbohydrates as we are with the presence of carbohydrates. I think we just get confused because carbohydrates make our muscles feel a little bit more full and sometimes give us a little bit more temporary strength. Which leads me to the next thing I wanna talk about, something known as the creatine phosphate system. When we work out, we have three different energy systems. The creatine phosphate system, which gives us energy from the start to say maybe the first three or four reps, or maybe when you're first starting out a sprint. Then we have the anaerobic system, which utilizes carbohydrates. That's the system that gives you energy from maybe say five to maybe 15 reps or so. And then we have the aerobic system, which is like your endurance work. Well, when you're on a ketogenic diet, you don't have a whole lot of range in that middle group because you don't have carbohydrates but you still have a lot of power with that first system, the creatine phosphate system. So your body actually has the ability to still utilize brute force to get those maximum heavy power lifts, which will trigger muscle hypertrophy. It'll trigger muscle growth. Then, since we know that protein synthesis is still high when you're in ketosis, you can still have the stimuli by training heavy and still know that protein synthesis is going to occur to actually allow those muscle fibers to recover to thereby build muscle which now I would like to give you the big study that I'm super excited to share with you that takes a look at the ketogenic diet versus the standard Western diet as it pertains to burning fat and building muscle at the same time. Yep, you heard me, burn fat and build muscle at the same time. So here goes. The Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition took a look at 26 test subjects. Okay. What they wanted to find here was the effects of the ketogenic diet versus a standard American Western diet on the effects of overall muscle and fat loss. So here's what they did. They gave one group a traditional ketogenic style diet. They gave them 75% fat, they gave them 5% carbohydrates and 20% protein. The other group, they gave 55% carbohydrate, 
20% protein and 25% fat. So a little bit more average, if you will. Well, they studied them for 11 weeks. And guess what they found at the end of 11 weeks? The low carb ketogenic high fat group ended up building 2.1 kilograms more muscle than the other group. Not in total, 2.1 kilograms more than the other group. But get this, they also burned 2.2 kilograms more fat than the other group. So they built more muscle than the Western carbohydrate diet and they simultaneously burned more fat than the carbohydrate diet, proving that you can build muscle and burn fat on the ketogenic diet. Big thank you to the International Society of Sports Nutrition for publishing this one. So there you have it, science doesn't lie. We've got multiple studies that show that the ketogenic diet won't cause you to waste away. In fact, it'll actually encourage your body to build more muscle and stay quite lean. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel. If you have ideas for future videos, you know where to put them. I'll see you soon.